So basically, when you click here or click here on the update and type vortex, there's a force, vortex force, but uh, in previous versions of Unreal Engine, there was two things, vortex force and vortex velocity. And I also found this uh, question on the forum that this is removed vortex velocity module that was removed in 5.4 and that vortex velocity module is there in the 5.3 so i have also a tutorial on that so in ue5 this vortex velocity you can see i'm using here and this is just rotating particle around like that so this module is removed and why it is important it was important and how it is different from the vortex force so let's check it out so if i delete this this and i'll take the torus and we have this torus maybe 200 radius so these are the particles spawning on a torus and if you take that vortex force in here in the particle spawn what will happen just fix this it will spawn these forces so particle like rotating around but they are also like uh, spreading so they, they are not just rotating on a circle they are spreading also and still if you move this module here in the update it will work the same if you increase this they will spread more and that's why this force is different from the this so in here you can see this is just rotating on a tower shape so this is different so how to achieve this kind of effect using this vortex force so there are two things uh, first let me increase the particle so you can see properly first in the force you have this uh, origin pull amount so if you increase it particle will pull to the center to the origin but they will again go back but you have to maintain very close balance of these values but still they will not work perfectly so i have a workaround first uh, what we have a substitute so if you don't use this you can use another thing so let me just duplicate this emitter i don't want to disturb that in this one let's say you have this and i don't want to use this you can delete this shape also you can take this rotate around point and then here you can decide the radius like 200 and then rate here so they are rotating and then if you want like uh, a radius i guess so you can add some offset here if you want and also you can like if i like a random we need to convert it to vector first and then random so you want to add a thickness but what is the different it uh, how it is different from the velocity because if i decrease the spawn rate and if i use here velocity aligned and i stretch my particles on one axis like 5 and 50 they are not facing the velocity right because this module works on the position see set position if you turn this off it will not work so they are working on position not velocity but in this case if you have this vortex velocity uh, force on and you use this uh, velocity aligned then you stretch your particles here like 520 they are facing velocity and same in the vortex velocity it was it is for velocity so they will face the velocity so now this substitute is not like uh, a good option but yeah it can be used in some cases so i'll just delete it and let's use it so first when you have this vortex velocity and you want to control this you can use this thing but it is not quite right so then you can increase the drag not that much that much it will try to fix that issue but the also the rotation speed is very slow so if you want the high speed without going uh, like here and there just maintain a ring 
then what you can do let me delete that drag you need to take a scale velocity after just taking this scale velocity it will work like a drag and see we have a same output they are not scattering and they are not like this is not pushing them away but they are rotating very slow if you increase this speed from here it will again go out so what you can do here let's say you have this uh, 500 and they are very slow and you want to make it fast so first you need to check this vortex force uh, is where uh, uh, what is writing it we will check what it's writing it's writing physics force so if i take from here let me just make some space and type here physics force and drag it after this then i will multiply this physics force so i am now multiplying it one so it will work the same but if you multiply it like a higher value like 50 and 50 they are now faster but still they are scattering little bit now you can control it with this so now they have almost the same shape and they are faster so this is the workaround i found after some r and d how you can fix it so if you have this like very thin shape then you can just control these things you need to just adjust how much you want cool so now they are rotating very fast and also you can add curl noise and other stuff to make it more cooler like you have this So now you have some curl noise also. You can also animate your curl noise. One. Cool. Make the particles like one and five, fifty. Let's make this GPU and increase this little up. So this is just about the presentation. I just wanted to show you how you can achieve the vortex velocity effect using vortex force cool so this is how i did it i hope you liked it and this is useful for you so thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye